In the last and fourth major step, we will focus on overlooked factors including regeneration, hydration and supplementation. It is important to emphasize just how crucial it is to be 100% mentally motivated and physically ready. By that we do not mean only being in shape, but to get enough quality sleep, being properly hydrated and supplemented, plus taking days off to re-energize and pamper while using different methods to speed the recovery process, maximize your fat loss and muscle growth potential. When we talk about regeneration, the most important part is adequate night rest time. In the latest studies by Olivia E. Knowles and Hugh Falagar et al., sleep deprivation of at least 3 hours and more on physiological level does not however correlate to major changes to the muscles and cardiovascular system, however it can make exercise feel a lot harder to do because of elevated perceived exertion, reduced concentration and alertness, which will only make you feel fatigued sooner and may affect your motivation to pursue further fat loss. It also appears a reduction in sleep quality and quantity could also result in autonomic nervous system imbalance, simulating symptoms of overtraining syndrome. Additionally, increases in pro-inflammatory cytokines can promote immune system dysfunction. Therefore, it's recommended at least minimum 7 hours of non-interrupted sleep to reach cognitive and physical peak to start your day. During off days when you are not doing any HIIT exercises, consider performing recovery activities like walking, easy cycling, swimming or yoga along with rolling foam exercises to stretch and break down muscle scar tissue. Results by meta-analysis by Timo Vuelho suggest foam roller activities or self-myofascial release interventions boost blood flow to your muscles after workout, thus enhancing the delivery of nutrients that decrease acute muscle soreness, increase strength, flexibility and jump performance. Another way to take your recovery to another level is to consider different time efficient recovery techniques like hyperbaric oxygen therapy or cryotherapy which are according to multiple studies all correlated to enhancing muscle repair and recovery that lowers pain perception and post exercise fatigue. As mentioned in a study from Simon N. Thornton an increase in water intake or hydration leads to loss of body weight. One of the mechanisms for the weight loss effect is elevated metabolism and thermogenesis connected to higher mitochondrial function which in adipocytes or fat cells increases lipolysis. Furthermore, with 30% increases in water consumption than your daily average increases weight loss during a hypocaloric diet intervention or fasting. So how much to drink? The recommended total daily fluid intake is 3 liters for men and 2.2 liters for women. If we include regular workouts we should add at least 150 to 300 milliliters of water every 15 to 20 minutes of exercise. So on average when we add all up men should consume 4 to 5 liters and women about 3 to 4 liters of water to achieve efficient weight loss when doing regular vigorous workouts. Supplementation should be considered for all individuals who want to retain muscle mass while losing fat during HIIT regimens. In particular we are talking about essential and semi-essential amino acids, taurine and creatine monohydrate. Amino acids we should focus on are branch-chained amino acids L-arginine, L-carnitine and L-glutamine which provide building blocks for muscle tissue growth and repair. They improve blood flow, enhance fat burning and accelerate water retention in muscle cells to help and signal further cell growth. Taurine reduces oxidative stress on the muscle tissue by increasing TL in the skeletal muscles, 
neutralizing various nitrogen-based radicals and improving muscular performance with less tissue breakdown. Creatine increases your body's stores of phosphocreatine, which is used to produce new ATP molecules or energy during high-intensity exercise and increasing insulin growth hormone IGF-1, which all lead to greater increase in strength and power. Directly associated with supplementation is also right timing. If we want to follow our complete 4-step program, doing fasted exercise and losing fat, we should focus exclusively on taking these supplements on your training day, after your workouts and after prolonged epoch effects have lowered drastically. The time frame ideal for building muscle mass and getting the most out of nutrients is known as the anabolic window. In studies by Pitt Cannon and Chet M. Kersik et al., in fasting conditions, protein net balance is negative and high intensity exercise induces an increase in muscle protein synthesis between one hour to multiple hours after workout. Therefore, consuming protein and supplements anytime up to approximately two hours after workout should be the optimal time. Before we finish our whole 4-step program, be sure to acknowledge and use all steps we highlighted, eat right, stay motivated, keep track, allow to recover and keep attention to detail which can be the difference to getting your desired goal and losing more stubborn fat.